Hi, I'm Song Yu, and I'm super excited to present our New Ips 2021 paper, Shape as Point, a differentiable Poisson solver. This is a joint work with Max, E.E., e., Michael, Mark, and Andreas. What do we mean by shape as point? In short, SUP. For any shape, we can either represent it as dense geometry, for example mesh, as shown on the right, or an oriented point cloud on the left. The proposed method SUP is a differentiable version of the classic Poisson surface reconstruction algorithm. Moreover, SUP is also a new type of 3D shape representation. It allows us to efficiently connect a point with the mesh through an implicit indicator field. What is a good 3D shape representation? This is an increasingly important question, especially in the era of deep learning. Traditional 3D reconstruction methods use representations like voxels, point clouds, or meshes. These representations are well studied and usually very efficient during inference. However, they all to some extent suffer from discretization. In contrast, neural implicit representations, for example occupancy networks, represent a surface implicitly as the decision boundary of neural network classifier. This representation is able to produce smooth and high-quality shapes. However, because they require numerous network evaluation in 3D space, extracting the underlying surface is typically very slow. Moreover, it's non-trivial how to initialize the network weights with the given observations. In this work, we introduce SUP as an alternative shape representation that has multiple advantages. First. SUP has a low memory footprint because it only requires storing a collection of oriented surface points. Second, with the proposed differential Poisson solver, we can very efficiently map the point clouds to a dense indicator function during inference. Last but not least, SUP is topology agnostic and it's easy to initialize SUP with any given geometry, such as noisy or incomplete observations. The core of our sub-representation is a versatile and differentiable Poisson solver. We call it DPSR. Given some oriented point clouds, our Poisson solver can output a dense regular grid, indicating whether a point is inside the underlying shape or not. We can then easily run matching cubes on the indicator grid to obtain a mesh. Solving the Poisson equation is the cornerstone of our sub-representation. Here, we provide the intuition of this equation using a 2D circle as the shape for illustration. This shape can be represented as an implicit indicator function. And here, we calculate the gradient of this function. Now, the premise of the Poisson equation is that the point normals are an approximation of the gradient. By taking the divergence operator on both sides of the equation, we can get a partial differential equation that we can solve as following. To solve the linear Poisson equation, we discretize the function values as well as the differential operators. In this way, solving for the indicator function amounts to inverse the divergence operator, subjecting to the boundary a condition, that is points on the surface having zero level set. In order to efficiently solve the Poisson equation, we choose to use spectral methods which are commonly applied in scientific computing for solving PDEs. Spectral methods decompose the original signal into a linear sum of sine and cosine basis functions whose derivatives can be computed analytically. A very important point is, spectral methods leverage the fast Fourier transform operations that are well supported for GPUs, TPUs, as well as mainstream deep learning frameworks like PyTorch or TensorFlow. Moreover, the solver itself is extremely simple and can be implemented in only 25 lines of code. Using the spectral method, here we simply show the final derivation of our Poisson solver. A step-by-step -step derivation in details can be found in our paper. Our Poisson solver can be broadly applied to many problem domains. In this paper, we mainly show its applications in reconstructing surface geometry from an oriented point cloud. First, we consider an optimization-based setting 
that do not require any training of neural networks, which is applicable to a wide range of shapes. Second, we also consider SUP under a learning-based setting by leveraging data priors, that is robust to point clouds with large noises or large amount of outliers. Let's first see how we apply SUP in optimization-based surface reconstruction. First, we need to input an initial oriented point cloud. To demonstrate the flexibility and the robustness of our model, we initialize the point clouds directly from a sphere. We can then pass this initial point cloud to our differentiable Poisson solver, DPSR, and obtain a dense indicator grid. Into our differentiable Poisson solver, DPSR, and obtain a dense indicator grid. Then sample points from the mesh and calculate the chamfer distance with respect to the given target unoriented point cloud. This is the forward pass of the optimization pipeline. As for the backward pass, we backpropagate the chamfer loss through the sample mesh point, P mesh, to optimize the source point cloud, P. All terms in these backward pass equations are differentiable, except for the marching cube step. But we found the gradient for this part can be effectively approximated by the inverse normals of the sample mesh point. Now, every step is differentiable, including our DPSR, so we can update the source point clouds under the optimization pipeline. Therefore, this optimizable source point clouds together with our Poisson solver is treated as the shape as points representations. Here we show the optimization process of SUP. We consider a cost to find strategy to speed up the optimization process and also a point resampling strategy to eliminate outlier points that drift away from the surface, enforcing a more uniform distribution of points. Now let's look at another example from the Thingy10K dataset. And we compare with different state-of-the-art methods in optimization-based surface reconstruction. We still use a noisy unoriented point cloud as our target, and the goal is to reconstruct the 3D surface geometry only from this given point cloud. Point to mesh is a neural network-based method, which deforms mesh vertices from an initial template. Because of that, the topology cannot be changed during optimization process. Point to mesh cannot handle shapes with genus larger than zero. Moreover, the optimization takes over one hour. IGR is a neural implicit method, and we notice that it sometimes creates unwanted meshes in free space, especially when the given point clouds are unoriented. In contrast, our method is able to faithfully reconstruct geometric details with much faster optimization time. We also show a comparison to the classic screen Poisson surface reconstruction, while SPSR is faster, it suffers from incorrect normal estimation on noisy input point clouds, which is a non-trivial task on its own. In contrast, our method is much more robust to various types of input point clouds, as we optimize points and normals guided by the chamfer distance. After showing optimization-based reconstruction, we are wondering, can we further leverage the differentiability of the proposed Poisson solver for deep neural networks. Next, we will show that we can plug our Poisson solver in the pipeline of a 3D reconstruction deep model and enable end-to-end -end training. Here we show the learning-based pipeline of our model. Input some noisy unoriented point clouds. The goal is to learn a neural network to predict both offsets and normals of those points. This clean oriented point clouds output from the network is passed into our DPSR and obtain an indicator for grid. To learn the network parameters in a supervised manner, we assume having watertight and noise-free meshes for supervision. We can simply sample surface points and normals from the ground truth mesh and run our Poisson solver to obtain an indicator grid, which will be served as the supervision signal. Finally, we calculate a L2 loss over the ground truth and predicted indicator functions and take the advantage of our differentiable Poisson solver to learn the network parameters. During the inference, 
the network output is passed into our DPSR, and we can then extract a mesh from the predicted indicator grid. Now, let's look at the results of learning-based 3D reconstruction. We train and evaluate on ShapeNet, and here we show the comparison on two types of input. On the top is the point clouds with high noise level, and on the bottom we can see the point clouds with strong outliers. First, we show voxel-based methods R2N2 and the patch-based method AtlasNet. The quality of their reconstruction is poor, and they severely suffer from point clouds with strong outliers. Nevertheless, both are very fast in terms of inference time. Next, we show the results of near implicit based method ConfOnet. The reconstruction quality improves over the previous method, and it can also handle outliers much better. However, the reconstruction speed is much slower due to the requirement of dense grid evaluation. Finally, our method produces 3D reconstructions with the highest quality among all baselines and the inference time is over 5 times faster than ConfOnet. Moreover, it's worth mentioning that, under the learning setup of SAP, the network only learns to predict the offsets and normals given the input point cloud, so the input is treated as the geometric initialization of the network. Here, we want to emphasize the benefit of such geometric initialization. As can be seen from the table, after training for only 10,000 iterations, our method has a much lower chamfer distance over ConfOnet, and it's even lower than their best model. To conclude, we propose Shape as Point, a new shape representation that is interpretable, lightweight, and guarantees high-quality water time meshes. The core of SUP is a GPU-accelerated differentiable Poisson solver that we believe can be broadly applied to various problems. However, currently, our method is still limited to small things due to the qubit memory requirement of the grid resolution. We think that processing things in a sliding window manner and adaptive data structures, for example, ArcTree, will solve the problem. More information, including code and data, can be found in our project page. Thank you for watching.